welcome back. My name is Leo and I'm a disaster. This is going to be the intro for a four part video uh, segment, I guess, uh, revolving Tokyo Disneyland Resort. It's going to be a part of a larger project that is following my experiences over in Japan when I took a trip in March of 2019. I want to break it down to Tokyo Disneyland, Disney Sea, what we purchased while visiting Tokyo Disneyland Resort. And lastly, I do want to talk about how is Tokyo Disneyland Resort for big people or as a lot of Disney people say, which I cringe at, but who sized people? Well, you clicked on this video, so you know we're talking about, and that is going to be how is Tokyo Disneyland Resort, both parks, for a bigger person. Prior to going to Tokyo Disneyland Resort, I have been to the parks in California and the parks in Florida. So keep in mind, when I talk about my experience, that's what I'm going to be basing a lot of this off of. Okay, so the thing that nobody likes to talk about, but I'm going to do it, I'm going to go over my measurements. I'm going to give you my size. I'm going to give you my stature. That way you have something that you can compare it to to see if you're going to feel comfortable or not when you go visit these parks. My height, I am six foot three. My weight, well, when I went to Tokyo Disneyland, I weighed approximately 340 pounds. My waist size, this honestly depends on what shops I go to. Some places I'm a 38, some places I'm a 42. So I would say safe bet is the same of 40. Do keep in mind when you're visiting Tokyo Disneyland Resort, you are going to a part of the world that typically has smaller people. This includes their height and their weight. So overall, it is a smaller person designed part of the world. However, when I say that, I have to also say, I never felt out of place when I visited that country. I was by no means the tallest, well, I probably was the tallest person at some point and I probably was the biggest person at some point in a given room, but across the board, not at all. I never felt out of place by being a giant. So before Tokyo Disneyland, I do just wanna say um, another ride that a lot of people have, tend to have a problem with in the United States is the ride over in Animal Kingdom, uh, Flight of Pandora. I've been on that ride three times, one day. Now all those three times, which was all in one day, I was able to successfully ride it twice. The second, I couldn't. I'm not sure, uh, I, I just couldn't. The first time I did it was right in the morning, we went early to Animal Kingdom, zero issues. Um, like, actually zero issues, I don't know what to say. Second time was toward the end of the day. Um, I don't know. Um, I, I did feel very sticky and humid. If you're a bigger person, maybe you've experienced this, but with that ride, the seats were kind of difficult, I guess, because they're rubbery to get on. So the second time was a no-go, but then as I was leaving my second time, they were like, if you want to try again, we're going to let you. So I went a third time and there was no issues that third time either. So I don't know, take that for what you will, but that's been the only issue I've experienced in the United States. Let's talk about clothing first, and there's a reason why. If you plan on purchasing any clothing in Japan, do keep in mind their sizes are not the same as the United States. That's tip one. Tip number two regarding clothing is to go shopping first thing in the morning. They have limited supply of certain sizes. They, uh, I believe that they tend to, they like that their items can be desired and considered unique and valuable, so they don't put out an extensive quantity of all sizes. In Japan, I'm a size 3L. This is one of the shirts that I can wear from Tokyo Disneyland. I'm a taller guy, I'm six foot three. My height is in my torso, um, and I have average to shorter legs. So I do wear a two to three X uh, shirt here in the United States. That just varies about the length. Um, a two X fits me in terms of width, but sometimes it's the link that I need to go 3X for. So in Japan, the 3L, uh, it does fit me with, um, it's just the length, I, I do wish it was probably about a half inch to an inch longer. I still will wear the shirt be and I will feel comfortable in it. Let's start at Tokyo Disneyland. Monsters Inc. I rode Monsters Inc. with another person who would be considered plus size, um, or poo size, as Disney people say it. Oh. She and her height is on her legs. So I know she was very uncomfortable on the Monsters Inc. ride because of how it's it's set up. Is the cart is not it doesn't have a lot of leg room. With her legs being really long, um, and both of us being plus sized or bigger size, I, I'm fat. I'll say I'm fat. But um, it's uh, it definitely made the ride pretty uncomfortable. One of the cast members, he was very friendly and they do have a different sort of humor over there, but he was just like, whenever he saw us coming at the end of the ride, he was like, oh, it's a little too small. And I was like, yeah, it, it, it was. <laughs> but I mean, by myself or even with someone like my daughter who's five or someone a little smaller, um, I probably would have been okay and more comfortable as I think my friend uh, as well would have been more comfortable. Space Mountain is a ride that if you are going to go on as a bigger person, um, 
the cast members are pretty good about catching you and they're gonna put you at the very front of the ride um, where there's slightly uh, more space. Splash Mountain does not have much leg room. I did not do Splash Mountain. Um, I didn't even attempt it. I'm not a water ride kind of guy. Feel her magic. When I went to Feel Her Magic in the Magic Kingdom, I felt the seats were a little small. Um, I still sat and I was comfortable, but thankfully I had people who I knew sitting beside me because I feel like I was taking up a lot of space. However, in Japan, I feel like their seats were actually a little bigger, so I, I had no issues with Feel Her Magic. Gadget's Go Coaster is a big no, not for adults. Um, uh, by any means, larger adults, but that, that's designed for kids. Um, and that is truly a smaller person ride. Over in Disney Sea, uh, the Tower Terror, I had no issues. I was very comfortable on that ride. It was very fun. The cast members, I think, are pretty good about seeing um, different parties and sizes and such, and they'll put you um, in rows. Uh, well, if there's three rows, like this is the top row, this is the bottom row, they'll put you at one or two, because I think that top row is where there's no gap in between, because that no one needs to walk up any further, and that might be a little squished as I think those seats were slightly smaller. Um, however, I sat at row, again, three rows, I sat down here and I felt perfectly fine. Raging Seas is not a ride for people who are um, heavier in the chest or um, shoulder or arm region. Um, I carry most of my weight in my gut, my thighs, and my butt. I know some people tend to carry weight up here in the chest, um, as well as in the arms. Um, I did not even try Raging Seas. It's not something that um, I was really interested in at the time, just based on the party people I was with, a five-year-old being a part of that. They do have testers. If that's something that you're thinking, maybe you wanna see, maybe you wanna try, take the tester. They're discreet, the cast members are super friendly, and what I told myself the entire time uh, in the event that I was going to be asked or told I couldn't do a ride, is that I'll never see these people again. Two other rides that do not have hardly any legroom are Journey to the Center of the Earth and 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. It depends on you. Where is your height? Where is, uh, you know, where do you carry that in? If it's your legs, you can try those rides. Um, Journey to the Center of the Earth does have, um, I believe there's one cart that you can fit on um, that the cast members are good about identifying and you could, you could maybe try it out, but if you have longer legs and you maybe carry your weight in your, your thighs or your butt, I'm not so sure that would be a comfortable, uh, either of those rides would be very comfortable. Overall, the casts are really friendly and they assist you and they're very nice. I think that they laugh sometimes out of nervousness. Um, I only, again, I only experienced that once with someone due to uh, my size with the ride and it was, I didn't feel offended. They were, they were helping me, they were super nice. Keep in mind, many if not most of the rides that may possibly have sizing issues do have very discreet testers. So. Um, don't don't feel out of place or uncomfortable. I know you will. I would have as well, but just do it. Lastly, don't stress too much. If you're afraid that you're not going to fit or it turns out maybe you don't fit, you'll feel embarrassed. I can't tell you not to, but understand you'll never see these people again, so you'll be okay. All in all, it may have felt like I said a lot of rides were not big people friendly. I don't think that. I think I experienced a lot of rides, a lot of attractions, and had so much fun while I was over in Tokyo Disneyland Resort. No one looked at me funny. There's nothing bizarre that us poo-sized people would maybe feel embarrassed by or out of place. That's it for this video. If you have questions, feel free to shoot me a message, leave me a comment, and I'll be happy to help you out. All in all, if you're gonna go to the Tokyo Disneyland Resort, have fun and don't worry about your weight because other people aren't going to. And even if there's a few, a few rides that you may have issues with, there's so many more attractions you'll love.